previously on My Less Duchess. I am not 452 years old. I need to transform into... Me, Don Novicius Malberini, and I have been sent here to this fantastic mansion. It belongs to Duke Alfonso II of Ferrara. Look at that work of art. Look at it closer. What about this part? Why is he telling me all this about his last wife? He's strange. All and each alike would draw from her the blush. The Duke makes out that being a smiley person is a bad, bad thing. I gave commands and all smiles stopped together. Oh my god, he had her killed. Oh my doll, me all day, he's going to kill me too. A psychopathic, power-mad duke has his wife killed because she smiled too much. What a nutcase. And to show how self-centered the duke is, look at how Browning uses personal pronouns in the text. The Duke says he isn't skilled at speech, which is ironic given that he's just rattled off a 56 line long, very complicated and eloquent dramatic monologue. He clearly is good at speaking. So it's almost like he's lying about himself, covering up the truth about himself, which is something that psychopaths are pretty good at doing. The Duke loves art, he's got loads of it on display, but the picture of his last duchess, it keeps underneath a curtain so no one can see it, unless he opens the curtain up. Now what's that all about? It's because he's obsessed with his last duchess, well at least obsessed with controlling her, and he can't control her now, cause she's dead, so he controls the painting with a curtain, which is mental. The reader feels really sorry for this last duchess because she didn't really have a chance at all. She was just smiling, being nice to people, but that behaviour disgusted the Duke. But he doesn't give her a chance to sort it out. Perhaps if he told her how he feels and they'd had a little chat, maybe a romantic meal, a bit of marriage counselling, I don't know, they might have sorted it out, but he doesn't talk to her about it because he says he doesn't stoop to her level. So he just lets her carry on smiling while he gets more and more disgusted and then eventually kills her. Which is perfectly reasonable if you're completely insane. But anyway, I don't even know what all the fuss is about what some ponty 16th century joke. Honestly, I'm just knock him out. They won't scare me at all. Who wouldn't scare you? Oh, no, no, nothing, nobody. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so, so, so sorry. How did you get into me, Betsy? I've been hiding in your wardrobe. Now calm yourself down whilst I explain the rhythm and the rhyme. Browning has written the poem in iambic pentameter. A rhythm that makes the poem seem conversational. And why not? I am just chatting to a silly little servant chap, after all. The rhyme scheme is quite interesting too. Rhyming couplets all the way through. Hands, stands, wall, call, and so on. The rhyme seems pretty solid. 
but because of the enjambment that enjambment just means lines in the poem that don't finish with punctuation marks. Don't interrupt me. Oh God, I'm so, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. The enjambment means that the lines flow one to the next, and this slightly weakens the rhyme scheme. But the rhyming is still there all the way through. You, how would you explain this? Um, I'd say that the rhyme's kind of like um, a, a pulse that keeps the poem moving. You know, it's like the words are just flowing out of you and you're just, you're just surging along with this story about your, your, your last wife. It's almost like you're desperate to get it off your chest and you just want to tell somebody, anybody, even this random servant dude. It's like, the, it's like a confession of a mm, 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 mm. From a... Mm, mm, go on. Well, confession from a proper chuffing nutcase. <laughs> yeah. Quite right, dear boy. But don't you say proper chopping nutcase in your exam. Choose something more appropriate, like... Murderous lunatic. <laughs> in the, the poem, we don't actually learn very much about the painting itself. It's only described really vaguely. Why is that? Because my tale, my arrogance and desire for power far more interesting than the details of the painting, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah I do. Have you heard of Cynic Docky? No. Well, pay attention, because Browning's use of Cynic Docky shows how I dehumanise people on account of me being, you know, a psychopath. <laughs> okay, great. Browning uses cynic docky suggests that I see Fra Pandolf only as a hand. I see my last duchess only as a smile or a blush. And I see you only as a silly little goatee. It's like I don't see others as real people. And if I don't see others as real people, then it's much easier for me to... Well, you know. Give commands? <laughs> Indeed. And then by the end of the poem, the reader's really concerned about the safety of your next wife. Hmm. And maybe I told the servant all about what happened to my last wife because I knew that he would tell the father of my next wife. Almost like a warning. A kind of threat on what I will do to his daughter if she dissatisfies me. By smiling at things, yeah, of course. Seems fair. Can I just ask? Did you actually kill your last wife? You need to consider the poem's context. You see, Browning wrote the poem about Duke Alfonso II of Ferrara. Me. And I was married to a woman named Lucrezia di Medici before I remarried. So Lucrezia de' Medici was my last duchess, yes. And in 1561, Lucrezia de' Medici died young in suspicious circumstances. She'd been poisoned. <laughs> Why are you smiling? 
You shouldn't smile near me. You are nothing. Between you and I, there is no comparison. Uh, of course, sorry, no comparison between you and I, no, none at all. But there are comparisons between this poem and the other poems in the cluster. So why don't you have a look at that and I'll, um... So, which poems will you compare my last duchess to? Make sure you have a good think about this and build as many comparisons as you can. Marriage is important in My Last Duchess, or at least the Duke's idea of what marriage should be, which is he is the boss and his wife should shut the hell up, do as he says, and not even smile when someone's nice to her. So, in this poem, marriage is knackered. Marriage is also knackered in London. Here, William Blake focuses on how everything is going wrong in the capital. Young prostitute mothers can't raise their children and are spreading STIs all over the place. This means that families are breaking down. Promise to never visit a dirty prosy? I promise, darling, now marry me. Marriage has become a hearse Blighted with plague. Ooh, <laughs> gross. I hate you, drop dead. Oh, poop. Identity is important to the Duke in My Last Duchess. Nobody dares ignore him, and he believes that everyone should bow to his title and status as a wealthy and rich member of the Italian nobility. If he thinks his reputation and identity isn't being respected, then he responds drastically. Here, by killing his own wife. <laughs> Personal identity is also a key theme in checking out my history. The poet John Agard explores what it's like to feel as though your personal identity is being overlooked and ignored. The messages about identity in My Last Duchess are the polar opposite to the messages about identity in checking out my history, so why not use this as a comparison? Finally, what about the link between art and cruelty? In My Last Duchess, the Duke is clearly a rather dangerous chap, and because of his cruel controlling nature, he hides the picture of his last Duchess. So art is covered by cruelty. Now, war is also very dangerous, and in War Photographer, it is art that uncovers the deadly truth of war. As the photographer's pictures develop, cruelty becomes clear. Boom, I'm proper clever me, I tell you. And that's about it. Now, do you think it might be time for you to put that down and, you know, clear off back to 1564? So... Okay. If you still think but you don't know notes, pay attention to these top three quotes. Please don't kill me. Don't make me beg for my life, please. Please don't think I'm right tough, proper solid and I don't want to cry. Take on me Brazil! Don't even like them anyway.